everyone. Welcome to Nirmal Bang. A very good morning. I'm Meera Gadia. We have Riyaz Singh, technical analyst. Uh, currently is joining in. Uh, Riyaz, a very good morning to you. The first question today I want to take with you is with regards to what's happening with the yen. Uh, clearly, if you go to see in terms of where the yen goes, uh, we have seen you know major moves that have been coming in. In fact, uh, the Japanese yen is more than almost half a percent lower against the dollar this week. What's the sense that you're picking up? What are the levels we should be watching out for? Hello, good morning, everyone. So, if you look at the yen now, one we must remember that yen is also a safe haven. So, uh, and also Japan is the world's third largest economy, which is uh, you know at the cliff of a deep recession right now. So, if you look at the uh, statements coming from Bank of Japan Chairman Terudo, so he has stated that uh, the uh, there is a, a deep recession that is coming forth, and they are they are all arms to mitigate the arising risk of the you know economic fallout due to the pandemic. So. Bank of Japan has indicated that the central bank is actually ready to employ various tools that it has uh, at its end. You know, they uh, they they will move forward uh, with the accelerating uh, printing of money, increasing the uh, you know uh, uh, market. You know, increasing uh, the uh, buying of uh, these EPs. And expanding their balance sheet, and even going forward, you know, they, there is a slicing of the interest rate on their books. So right now, the central bank is actually focusing on, you know, aiding the institutions, which are, uh, you know, which have dried up all their cash instead of stimulating demand. So this is this is a different perspective that the uh, Bank of Japan is heading forward to. So they are more. Uh, directed towards uh, such firms, uh, the credit uh, risk is not much into the uh, country because the financial institution have a sufficient buffer to go forward to. But uh, yes, going forward, uh, the chairman has said that they are into quantitative easing. Uh, you know, not only to calm the market or keep the inflation. Uh, you know, stable, but also to help the government in uh, borrowing and uh, curb the overall impact that the economy is facing. So going forward, I think uh, uh, the Bank of Japan will ram up the uh, stimulation, uh, will expand their balance sheet, take on more assets. Uh, and the other thing that they are trying to keep in mind is to manage the balance sheet because uh, they are uh, buying uh, CPs, corporate bonds, even the junk bonds on their books. So uh, managing the balance sheet is something uh, that will remain a question, uh, you know, into a further timeline. But going forward, I think if you see at the momentum of the uh, yen, uh, the you know it has uh, actually been into you know uh, it has been uh, recovering uh, from the uh, depreciation against the dollar. So uh, if you just uh, just a second. I'll just share my screen. So if you look uh, at the performance uh, of the uh, yen, so this is a USD JPY chart. So if you look at this, uh, the dollar has been actually depreciating. Uh, go into a very narrow and consolidation phase, but we are seeing, uh, you know, lower lows that has been happening. So I think uh, going forward, uh, the uh, range will remain around 107.81 uh, to 106.50 uh, into the uh, USD JPY. Okay. So uh, that's what one should be looking at. But again, from a longer term perspective, do you think people will still uh, look at the yen as a safe haven. Yes, yes. See, uh, there are the yen will continue to be a safe haven because uh, apart from the uh, you know uh, dollar, uh, I think though there is the price, I mean, but we you know bank 
of Japan has a history of you know managing uh, uh, these risks very efficiently. They right now their interest rate is around zero point you know negative zero point one percent, and the statement that had come from Bank of Japan is stating that they are not very hesitant uh, to take those negative rates further in order to help the economy you know get stable and to pique the interest of the investors. So I think uh, going forward, uh, yen will remain as a safe haven, and uh, the range will be a very consolidated one. Okay. And overall, in today's day of trade as well, what is the kind of strategy uh, that you would recommend? Because currently, especially if you see in terms of the Indian rupee as well, uh, yesterday's session a marginal drop of around say ten uh, pesos. What we saw, I mean, we ended at levels of around seventy-five point five six to the dollar. Do you think there is a possibility that a sluggishness in terms of the rupee is something which we will continue to see? Yes, definitely. Because see, the fall that we saw, you know, your your is was basically on the anticipation of the package coming in. So that had come and gone. There is uh, not much of a candy there. So I think uh, the market is uh, looking onto that and recovering the depreciation. Whatever there was uh, appreciation that had happened has actually recovered. Uh, so I think going forward, uh, one must keep a view of buying the dollar. Actually, not shorting it. Uh, uh, keep the view of going long from the levels of seventy-five. Uh, uh 15 75 20 which is a very good level if you see going you know into the past session that is the level that the rupee has always bounced back from so i think going forward everyone should keep a uh, buy on dips view uh, from 75 15 75 20 levels uh, but of course in today's session you can definitely go for a long above 75 65 level uh, because uh, that is a you know if you can see the a short term uh, moving average uh, 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 resistance is that what we are seeing there. So I think in today's session you can definitely go for a buy above seventy five sixty five for the target of seventy five eighty five seventy five ninety five with a strict SL of seventy five fifty. Right, and any other strategies that you would have? Uh, we can definitely go for the JPY INR. I think uh, from like we were seeing appreciation uh, in the pair, but it took a turn around from the same. But the candle that has formed on the daily chart uh, and the behavior that the relative strength index and the stochastic is stating is actually quite negative. Even the pair has closed in a higher rise, but is showing strong resistance on the higher levels. And uh, the candle that has formed is actually with an upper uh, shadow. So this indicates that there is a selling pressure in the pair right now from the higher levels. So if the pair breaks down the low of yesterday, which is around seventy forty eight, that will uh, lead the pair deeply into the red zone. So I think that is the level that one can look for into the JPY INR. Uh, the next, uh, the next will be Euro INR. Uh, I will recommend people to stay away from the pound for today's session because from the last few sessions and even according to the price momentum that is currently going on, it is a uh, it is very you know moving into a very consolidation phase. Like it is giving a gap down and is just consolidating there. Also, that is a very risky uh, trade to go forward to. Also, I will recommend the people to stay away from the from the pound INR at least for few sessions. But uh, the next but you can definitely go for a you you know euro pair uh, so if you look it has you know it has uh, done a gap down uh, and uh, you know it has opened in the weak session mm. and closed on the same so if you look uh, it has currently so this is an ali chart so if you look at here it has closed below the support the, the intraday you know uh support so i think any open below 8150 would definitely lead the pair towards 8135 so one can go short in that mm -hmm. so below 8150 go for a short of target of 8135 81 keeping a strict sl of around 8175 so that is the strategies uh, that one can follow for today all right we are pleasant speaking to us thank you for sharing that you especially in terms of yen and rupee And the strategies uh, for intraday trade today. But just one question, Riya, that's coming in over here, which I see is: 
Is there any option strategy for the uh, dollar rupee pair? A question coming in from Anup Sinha. Yes, so see, uh, right now, uh, today is already expiry. So I will recommend, uh, you know, to uh, wait for the uh, today's expiry and actually initiate any pair into the next uh, expiry. Uh, so according to the momentum, if you see a strong, uh, you know, uh, uh, so if you see a, uh, a strong opening that is happening, you can definitely either go for a sell of the uh, ADM. For example, right now, the USD INR is actually trading at 75.65. So looking at, you will definitely get uh, a very high premium in the next strategy. So wait for a day or two uh, and then you can definitely go for a short into the put uh, of uh, uh, 75, 25 is a very good level to short for a put and uh, 75, 50 if the pair moves above 75, 75. Uh, and the next thing, if you want go, if you want to go for a uh, safer bet, you can definitely go for a call of 75, 75 in today's session. Okay. Andrea, another question coming in is, uh, for intraday, can I short dollars? No, I will recommend a buy above 75, 75. Let's see how it's open. If you if it's open over on a weaker note, because if you see the behavior of the rupee, the opening on a you know a negative note or a weaker note, it has always bounced back from the lower levels. So I will recommend if there is a positive open, uh, go for a long above 75.65. But in case there is a weak open and it opens below 75.65, uh, wait for at least 75.45. A support to break in order to go for a short into the pair. Right. And earlier, uh, the last question that's coming in is if you could provide option calls as clients are interested in dollar options. Yeah, definitely. I will go forward to that. You know, like I said, uh, 75, uh, 75, 25, and 75, 50 put is something uh, that is looking very attractive along with the 75, 75 option, uh, call option. So let's see how the markets open. I will definitely provide one. Thanks, Ria, for sharing uh, that view as well. And I hope all the questions are answered. We will come back to you same time uh, tomorrow. So thank you, everyone, for joining.